Would you mind briefly summarizing the story of Dark Phoenix for us? Sure. Um, the story of Dark Phoenix is a um, story of Jean Grey, one of the beloved X-Men, um, going on um, uh, an expedition um, with the X-Men to try to save um, astronauts in space. While she's up there, she gets hit by a cosmic force that is the Phoenix Force that inhabits her with the greatest power in the galaxy, um, which is a good thing because she becomes super powerful, but it's a bad thing because she can't control that power. And so what happens in the movie is she struggles to try to control it, um, and in that struggle it starts to take her over and she does things that are destructive, that are deadly, um, even to the people that she loves, even to some of the people who are in the X-Men. Um, and it is about her trying to figure out control of that power and in, in and while that's happening, the X-Men themselves are figuring out how they react to her. If they try to stop her, if they try to save her, um, if she needs to be killed, um, and you know, if the people who are encouraging her to go deeper into that dark place, they need to be killed. Um, so it's really the story of just um, a person losing control and the people around them that love them most um, uh, figuring out how to help them. It's an emotional story. I mean, I know I was on the edge of my seat the mm. whole time. It, you're, it's turbulent emotionally. Mm. Mm. Um, what was your biggest challenge for you in directing this film? I think the biggest challenge in directing this film was balancing something that was really emotional and raw um, and personal and intimate um, with also something that had spectacle and scale and was intergalactic and had this whole other plot that we've never done in an X-Men movie before with aliens in it. Um, balancing those two things, one thing that is massive um, and beyond our world and another thing that is very much of our world and as grounded as possible, balancing those two tones was the biggest challenge of the film and wanting to make sure that I was servicing both of them. Well, you definitely did. Thank you. Can confirm that. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, well, what do you hope then audiences in general and X-Men fans in particular take away from this film? I hope that audiences and X-Men fans take away from this film um, a, a, an emotional experience. I hope what they feel is that, you know, the, the family, that, that if you've watched one X-Men film, if you've watched every X-Men film, if you've watched one X-Men scene, if you've watched none, the family that um, you come to care about or that you've come to care about over many movies, um, you watch them struggle. Um, and you're part of that family, and one of your family members um, is losing control and you are losing her. Um, I hope that audiences feel that sort of sense of potential loss and then um, the sort of uh, triumph, potentially, of that family coming back together after turmoil, after trauma, after being torn apart. Um, just really an emotional journey. I hope they feel like this is the most emotional um, X-Men movie they've ever experienced and um, feels relatable, feels grounded, feels real. That's great. And then, which leads me to my next question, mm -hmm. in comparison to the other X-Men films, you know, despite this being your directorial debut, sure. um, is what makes Dark Phoenix different from the other films? Well, I think what makes Dark Phoenix different from the other films uh, is a few things. One, it's the first time we've had a female protagonist, which I think is really important because mm -hmm. the X-Men comics have always had incredibly strong female characters. Um, and we've had them in the movies, but they haven't been the protagonists of the films. Um, and finally, we have a female protagonist in the X-Men movie and a lot of strong female characters um, in this movie. So I think that's special and unique. Um, and I think the other part of it is it's the most, I would say, raw personal, intimate, emotional X-Men movie we've ever had. Um, and I think that audiences will feel like the characters are more real and relatable um, than some of the other X-Men movies where they're a little larger than life, um, which is fun. Um, but this one uh, just is more of our world um, than we've ever done before. And I guess the other part is that we have, all of our X-Men movies have been earthbound. And this is the first time, as in many of the X-Men comics, and certainly even the Dark Phoenix storyline, for the first time we leave Earth and we have an intergalactic um, uh, plot in this film. 